Reserve, gentleman reserves, gentleman from Maryland, recognize. I reserve. Gentleman reserves. Gentleman from I inquire as to the time remaining. A minute and a half. All right, gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Maryland has the right to close. A uh, gentleman from Maryland has the right to close. So the gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized. Gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized. All right, thank you, Mr. Chairman. The gentleman from Maryland, my friend from Maryland, talks about increased bureaucracy. The increased bureaucracy of informing the American people. My goodness, my goodness. I've never heard that from my friends on the other side of the aisle, increased bureaucracy. I mean, all they do around here is inf infuse more government into our lives with every single thing they do. He talks about the medical situation and price fixing. He doesn't call it fright price fixing, but that's what it is. It's price fixing. More bureaucracy, taking more drugs off the market, more life-saving research off the market, but they're good with that. Talks about 12 million new jobs, but doesn't talk about the fact that in one of the reporting periods, a million jobs were, were created, but then it was only months later to find out that only 10,000 were, were created. Oh, and that first report right before the election. Interesting how that happened. Doesn't want to talk about that or wor the workforce in uh, participation rate. Doesn't want to talk about, you know, talks about lowering inflation. You can talk about that all you want to, but people that pay for things don't experience it. So you can say it's true, but the reality is that it's not true. All these years, he's saying it's been unnecessary to do this. My goodness, my good friend from Maryland is a member of the legislature. You'd think he'd want to preserve the power of the legislature instead of handing it to the executive branch, which is what this place has done for years upon years. Now we have a chance, and my friend wants to hand yet more power to the executive branch instead of preserving the power of his branch that he serves in. With that, Mr. S Mr. Speaker, I urge adoption of the amendment and I yield. Gentleman yields. Gentleman from Maryland.